Dear Journal, let's say you're a cash owner and someone in your Facebook group says, Hey man, I saw your cash being split on this guy Skimbosh's really entertaining and worthy of public accolades geocaching channel. What do you do? How do you react? Is there actually anything to be done? I tweeted to Groundspeak just to see what they would say, but they're not about to answer a peon like me. Back in the day, however, they banned someone, the OG vlogger, Geocache Spoilers. I wonder what his channel was about. So uh, I'm assuming after some pressure from CEOs, they banned him. Rest in peace, they banned him, but then rescinded. Why? I didn't look into it, but I'm still 75% certain that it was because it was bad PR. If you look at their current terms of use, we may suspend or terminate your account if we suspect you or someone using your account has violated the terms of this agreement or any other terms. <sighs> Guidelines or policies associated with our services or are otherwise not being a good member of the geocaching community. Are you a good member of the community? Am I? What about this guy? And the restrictions clearly state, do not X to the V to the I to the I to the I interfere with the ability of others to enjoy our services. Well, I think an articulate and eloquent individual could use their suck hole to present a compelling argument that, hey, this guy made a video about my cash allowing some people to circumvent an aspect that I spent time fabricating, and it's totally interfering with my enjoyment of cash hiding. Should Groundspeak make a judgment on that? Would they? Why am I bringing it up? I am the least responsible person when it comes to permissions, and probably the first one to go if the rules change. Replica alligator heads in pond to deter geese. What if that's just the diabolical way to get people to come down to the water and eaten by their pet alligators? Bring me more Roman numerals! Do not XXIEIEIE publish on our websites the solutions, hints, spoilers, or any hidden coordinates for any geocache without consent from the geocache owner. Our websites. Nothing about YouTube specifically, however, in a July 2019 official geocaching blog entry, they reiterate the whole no unauthorized spoilers, but no mention of their site specifically. Hmm? And look at that bullet point right above it. Don't share answers to puzzles and spoiler groups or risk losing your access to geocaching.com. Recently, someone made a Facebook page with a bunch of trackable codes to which geocaching responded, those who log trackables in this way risk suspension of their geocaching account. Well damn, if they are going to slay some fools for shared codes and busted secret spoiler groups, what's to keep them from slaying those with their finger on the record button, hmm? The answer, which I have no data to back up, is that in this day and age, Groundspeak as a business probably loves the free advertising. YouTube, Insta, Snap Talk, whatever it is you kids use, all this was and is helping geocaching blast its way into the mainstream way more effectively than any sort of advertising or commercial media campaign could accomplish. I think they like it as long as you follow a few unspoken rules. Have a sense of perspective, man. No one's going to make a stink too much over showing a guardrail cache with a clever name or container. You will be labeled a dickhead if you show the exact location of a difficulty 5 cache, requiring research or visits to multiple locations. Here we are going through Princeton. In fact, all of this footage is from the Princeton and surrounding area. There is a virtual cache that requires you to pop over to a dozen or so major landmarks. I would love to show you all the sites the CO has you going through, along with my intuitive and informative comments. Kind of looks like a man giving himself a little pleasure, bent inwards. Eye of the beholder and all that. Common sense says don't show all the things, or don't show the important side of things. Look at this beautiful monument. This side is not a spoiler. God damn, I really nailed myself in the eye with those sunglasses. Don't make your video searchable spoilers. I have spoilers in your journal, but I don't make you a searchable database with the cache names as the video titles or the GC codes as video tags. There are no tutorials on how to bypass certain parts of certain caches. I mean, they're present here and there, but no dedicated cheater is ever going to find them unless they're subscribed to me and following me religiously to understand my travel patterns and you don't unlock those types of fans until 10,000 subscribers. In short, don't be an idiot, and Groundspeak won't delve into what I believe is the arguably gray area of geocaching videos. There is a line to walk. Sharing trackable codes or secret spoiler groups? Very black and white. Bam! Get suspended. A non-vindictive spoiler video? Well, come on, it's just a, a hobby video. I'm having fun. I can't believe this has happened to me. My video is harmless. You gonna ban all these other people for their blogs? Uh, uh, mm. That's that's how I would react if I was going to be banned because of my journal, so I apologize in advance when I drag all the rest of you down with me. 
Your best bet if you're someone that stumbled on this video looking for a course of action for your anger over some twad spoiling your cash and only now realizes, hey, I'm not that helpful. In fact, I forgot that's how I started this entry. But unless someone was on your private property, YouTube or Instagram, nobody's going to remove the video unless your personal information is in it. So by that logic, just cover your caches with printouts of your personal information and credit card statements. Then YouTube will have to remove any videos about it. Howdy. Uh, not much. It connects to the uh, Raritan Canal. Okay, that's where I live. Uh, the car. Uh, yeah. Cool. Thank you, though. Take care. Yeah, take care, I, I guess, because apparently you live on the canal. Good luck. No, really, try reaching out to the spoiler. You never know. In my very first journal entry, I show the answers to a puzzle I had to get help on, but later on, someone asked me nicely not to show it, and I covered it up. Would I remove a video if someone asked? That's something every journal keeper should ask themselves. Uh, not sure, actually, I am 100%. No, I would not. I guess if you were some sick child whose health depended on being happy that your cash wasn't in some schlub's video, I'd consider it, but I would certainly need a doctor's note. I feel like it's out in the public. It's fair game for, for, for visibility. It's fair game for scrutiny. Fair game if you got vlogging on the noggin. Note to self, highlight vlogging on the noggin with some text or some shit. Finally, let us not forget that some of the responsibility goes on the viewer, the player, the cheater. I don't think the guy that published the book on lockpicking should be harangued, I like that word, because someone wanted to get inside my locked box. That person was going to figure out a way, and if that book wasn't available, they probably just would have smashed it open. That's probably an unfair comparison, so maybe you should try that thing I was going on about with those Roman numerals. Contact Groundspeak and present my arguments as your own. No hard feelings. Well, at least not the way you think. I saw a fox in Princeton. Oh, I am in Princeton. Oh, I can use that clip. Huh. Shit. This was this was open and then it fell. Oh.